seats like a bloody stain. I Life short, smoke a port, on a port, on a port in New York. Kill Bill track Ooh. Supreme Shorts. Kill. Life short. What's good, Half King? We are here with our very first FL Studio tutorial, and we got the clout goggles back on because we are doing Clout Cobain by Denzel fucking Curry. You guys have been requesting Denzel Curry so much in the last video that I had no choice but to do him. And the reason why I'm doing him in FL Studio instead of Audacity is because, guys, to mix his song, um, Clout Cobain, you need FL Studio. I mean, you could do it in Audacity, but it is so much extra work that it's honestly not worth it. And for those of you guys that are going to say, Young Hafton, I don't have enough money to get FL Studio. You could get their demo version for free, and it does everything that the paid FL Studio does, except for you can't save presets and you can't save your project. So once you close the project, you cannot reopen it. So you guys could just leave it open until you're done with your song. So you honestly could just use the demo and get the same exact results as this one. So without further ado, let's go into this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know whenever I'm uploading content to this channel and follow me on my social medias at Young Haffington, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so as you can see, for the very first time ever, we are in FL Studio, and this is FL Studio 20. So as you can see, we got the instrumental lined up at the very top, we got the main vocals, and then the background vocals stacked at the bottom. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everything, um, except for the main vocals, and the main vocals are already set up in the mixer, so they're going to have the effects. So I'm basically going to play for you what it's going to sound like without the instrumental real quick. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats like a bloody stain. Okay, so let's open up the mixer real quick. And um, for those of you guys that are wondering, why is this song so much harder to mix in Audacity than it is in FL Studio? And it's because of one specific plugin. Actually, two. Um, and it's this one right here, the Fruity Chorus. For those of you guys that don't know what... Um, a chorus effect does it basically doubles your vocals and in the chorus of um clout cobain he has his vocals doubled if you listen very closely it's really not even that hard to tell he has his vocals doubled so um fl studio basically has a plugin that does it for you in audacity normally what you would do is you would basically duplicate the first vocal and then align it a little bit off so it kind of gives a doubling effect it's just a lot more extra work and it's so much easier to do it into this program so i'm gonna run in actually let me turn off all the effects real quick so that i could show you what's going on what it sounds like without the well you don't need these ones because there's no effects in them so this is what the bare vocals sound like suicidal doors call it kurt cobain suit leather seeds i'm an idiot guys i'm on the wrong mixing channel my bad so this is the main one let me turn off the effects now holy shit my bad guys okay so this is what the bare vocals sound like. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats like a bloody stain. I need as, as you can see, that's what it sounds like without no effects. So I'm basically going to run through all the effects and turn them on as we go. So we have autotune here first. And what I noticed is that the main, main vocals of the chorus, it's mainly just pitch correction. But the background vocals are the one with the um auto tune in them except for the only one of the background vocals have the auto tune in it but i'll get to that later so i basically set the retweet speed to 36 i put the humanized knob to 15 so that um it kind of eliminates that robotic auto tune effect um a little bit and then i set the key to b flat minor because that's the key of the beat for um clout cobain so that's pretty much that so we'll go ahead and press play Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats like a bloody stain. So as you can see, there's some parts um, where I was sitting where I was 
kind of off pitch a little bit and the auto tune corrected it so that's kind of what you want so once you got that sounding good you're going to go ahead and close that i don't know why all this shit's open and then we're going to go into our parametric eq which is the equalizer so what i noticed about this song is that he has a lot of air with his vocals it sounds very airy if that makes sense to you so i basically took um the blue knob right here which is the bass i assume um, and then I dragged it all the way to 145 hertz and I also moved you if you scroll up or if you left click it and you go up and down you could change how it is so I had mine to kind of this left slope down here so I could cut down the vocals kind of like how we do with 100 hertz treble down in audacity and then I lifted um, the sixth knob up a little bit to give more air and then as well as the seventh to just kind of give that trouble this is more the trouble end this is the bass end and this is kind of towards the mids the four five and six and i just add a little bit of air here it boosted the trouble a little bit so it sounds like this suicidal doors call it kurt cobain so that's kind of so that's kind of what i heard when i was analyzing the song so that's exactly what you want then we're going to go ahead and close that and we're going to add our compressor so so what i noticed um for the compressor type vintage added a little bit more to that air kind of sound so that's why i have it set the vintage right there i have the threshold for my vocals to negative 24.1 decibels um and then that ratio to eight to one because it kind of is a singy um chorus so that's why i had it there and then you just adjust the gain um, to where you could hear your vocals at a good level and I also set the attack to 12.2 so that's pretty much it for the compressor and then now we're gonna go to the sound goodizer this program this plugin is so amazing because it excites the vocals like it makes it more I don't, I don't know how to explain it, it just excites it excite exciting the vocals is the only thing that could come to my mind so I had that set to a and I put it about a quarter of the way there. So we're going to go ahead and listen to that. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. So notice the different way I turn it off. Leather seats like a bloody stain. Listen again. I need hella bass. So as I you need hear, hella pain. It excites the vocals, which is what you want. And I recommend when you, if you're using FL Studio to mix any track, even if you, it's your own, use the sound goodizer and play with the different letters because they all sound different. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats As like a see, bloody stain. Each letter sounds different, but for this song, I preferred to use A. And then now we're going to the most important part of this chorus. That's fucking funny because the plugin's called Chorus. So he used, he used the Chorus plugin in the chorus of the song. So we're going to go ahead and listen again. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. So as you can see, it just sounds like one vocal, one person singing, right? But when I turn this on, you're gonna hear the vocals be doubled. So listen. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. Sue leather seats like a bloody stain. As you can hear, it took my main vocal and basically doubled it to give it that doubling effect and that's mainly what he uses in the chorus of the song if you're trying to um look for the other parts of the song where there is no doubling because the only doubling that takes place in this song um is in the chorus so if you want to cover the other part of his songs just don't add that chorus effect and you'll be good to go so now that we got that we go down to reverb and we're just using the default reverb this is the if you when you ever you choose the plugin this is the main default reverb that'll show up and he does use a little bit of reverb in this song so um that's why i haven't set it to a little bit over half about what would be, what would that be maybe three o'clock i would assume yeah three o'clock on the knob and you basically get this result. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. Uh, let me turn it on. Sue leather seats like a bloody stain. I need hella bass. I need hella pain. And that's pretty much it for the reverb. And the reverb is going to be different on the other vocals as well. So just take note of that. And then we add a delay. Of course, you guys know what delay does. Suicidal doors call it Kurt Cobain. Sue leather as you can hear. It adds a delay vocal to the end of that. And that's basically it for the first track. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And then we're going to mute it and move on to the 
um, first background vocal that he does. So if you guys listen very carefully to the song, he does occasionally have very, very high pitched um, vocals in the background. So you're going to hear this. And I'm about to show you guys how to do that. So, okay. So yeah, basically what I did for this track right here, same thing, same thing as before, same exact settings. Only thing that I did was raise the chorus up here um, to about four o'clock and to add a little bit more of a doubling effect. And I turned that reverb knob all the way up because usually background vocals have a lot more reverb than the main vocals of the track so that's pretty much it for that background vocal and then this is basically you could hear it so yeah that's basically it for that that's the kind of background vocal so we're gonna go ahead and open that up go here this is the one that i stupidly turned off all the effects for by accident but yeah once again same exact effects. I have the chorus knob up to about half halfway. Um, and then I have the reverb here too set to about right here. But the difference is I didn't use the default reverb for this one because this one had more of a cathedral effect. So basically what you guys do, there's these preset arrows. You just scroll all the way until you get to cathedral. And that's pretty much what I used. And I kept it to about right here. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and listen to all of them together. Oh, and I missed one thing. My bad, guys. For that for that last um, background vocal that I said, I did change the auto-tune. I turned that auto-tune all the way up to um, 6 read to speed because I noticed when I was listening, it had a lot more auto-tune than everything else that was going on in the chorus. So make sure you do that, too. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to forget about that on you. So, we're gonna go ahead and press play and listen to everything together. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats like a bloody stain. I need hella bass, I need hella pain. You gon' wanna cry, I'ma make it rain. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Su and that's pretty much it for Denzel Curry and FL Studio. It's so much easier on FL Studio, guys. I, if you're trying to go for that effect that's in this song, I would highly recommend getting FL Studio. And if you don't have the money, get that demo version. Because the demo version does everything that the main version does. You just can't save presets and you can't reopen projects. So just do it. Okay. And I guess my Twitch or my live streaming shit's on because that's the sound that I get if I get a new follower or a subscriber or whatever. But also make sure you could also adjust these knobs. This is basically leveling like the gain on the vocals. So as you can see, I put the background vocals a lot lower than the main vocal here to make it all sound leveled and good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and unmute the instrumental so you guys could hear the final product. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. I like all feedback, even the negative ones. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and who you would like to see next. But let's go ahead and press play. Um, Denzel Curry, Clout Cobain, let's go. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. Suit leather seats like a bloody stain. I need hella bass, I need hella pain. Hey. Perfect, man. I think we're going to hit a little bit of a... I love it. If you don't love it, hit me with a... This ain't it, Chief. Down in the comment section. Anyways, once again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new because we're going to be pumping out these FL Studios. And I'm not forgetting about Audacity, guys. Do not worry about that. But anyways, it's been your boy, Young Hampton. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day. And peace out, guys. <laughs>